Drew McIntyre's backstage and he's about God to damn be, right. He's about to be Jack interviewed yeah. and Jackie asks him, So like, listen, a tough loss after your return. What's next for you? Right before Drew can answer with a sinister look on his face. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys I the nuances <laughs> because you're all gonna cry. Oh, they're still not pushing. The... Watch it. I'm gonna explain what's gonna happen. Right before he can answer, Matt Riddle interrupts him and is like, Bro, listen. It's a tough break. We all have them. I had them too. It'd be dope if we could team up together to take out the Viking Raiders, this, this, and that. Thanks. Dude, I'll fucking team up with you. Sure, let's do it. I'll think about it. You know what I mean? He comes out, big baby face pop. They get the big win over the Viking Raiders in a whatever match. I hate when random teams get wins over your tag teams. Why do you have tag teams then? <laughs> Just have jobbers or whatever. But um, either way, Drew gets the win with the claymore it's a whatever match they fuck it i think yeah riddle had raccoons whatever but here's the story right they're gonna win this match they're gonna win another match maybe they're gonna get one at paybacks huh? drew's gonna turn on riddle and then that's like a match they're gonna build up to a program like a mid-card program and you're gonna see drew get his slow build up to be like the guy to um heal dethrone seth He's going to kill everyone till like mania and then wrestle Seth for the belt for the world belt at mania. That's my prediction. Yeah. So everyone, (laughs) yeah, everyone crying, hold up. Oh man. Drew should just come back. Scottish psychopath and just go crazy, man. Okay. You need motive. It's called a story. He's not just going to do the special Olympics and do interviews where he's like, dude, you can't just turn me heel unless there's a reason to do it. This is his own words. He goes, you can't, you can't do that unless there's a reason to do it. Like I, the like I'm the WWE use me for things with the Special Olympics. Like I'm, you, I can't just. Why would I be heel? You know, he was saying that in an interview. Give it time. Don't get it. Doug. Yeah, they're gonna set it up with bro oh, with bro oh, Riddle because oh. bro Riddle is fucking beloved. Baby face you know, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, he's like I could never turn heel. He's like an RVD. Like how does that guy turn heel? You know what I mean? So <laughs> ever. It, yeah, like he's like a it's like a Jeff Hardy thing. Like can that guy can't really just ever be a heel now. It's just it's gone, you know. He's a fucking it's just a stoner bro guy, you know. We know he's not ever really mad. Bro. So, so he's you're going to see the Scottish psychopath come out of Drew slowly, but it's going to start by killing Matt Riddle um probably after payback they'll start that feud I'll assume, but either way, what did you Down make of this match? Landers. What did you make of this match? What did you make of the fucking cartoon raccoons? Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> the trash pandas as it were. Oh yeah, shout out to Corey Grace. The fucking goat. Also fucking Barrett pointed out that Cole can't contact him because he changed his number. Cole also had jokes. He called him the Highlanders. Yeah. That's pretty good. And Viking can okay, so like this was your fucking your basic tag team wrestling psychology here. The Viking Raiders were in control the whole time, beating the shit out of Matt Riddle. Fucking Riddle really working for that hot tag. Getting that fucking hot tag, the crowd seeing fucking the, the claymores, yada yada yada. You know, it was good shit, man. Yeah, pal, it was really good. It was um, great shit, pal. But it was a fucking fierce explosion for the hot tag. Just the way, like you said, they they love Riddle, so like he's the perfect guy to work for the hot tag. You know, it just works. Could you imagine a faction of Drew McIntyre leading the Viking Raiders as the fucking Highlanders? No. Okay. Never mind. I'm just glad he didn't come up with a sword. <laughs> Whoa. Because that's babyface yeah, shit, man. too. That's the yeah, foreshadowing well, yeah, of him right turning in. heel. No sword, yeah. 